The Arctic Circle defining the «midnight sun» encompasses the Atlantic Ocean from the northern edge of Iceland to the Bering Strait. The area is often considered part of the Battle of the Atlantic or the European theatre of World War II. Pre-war navigation focused on fishing and the international ore trade from Narvik and Petsamo. Soviet settlements along the coast and rivers of the Barents Sea and Kara Sea relied upon summer coastal shipping for supplies from railheads at Arkhangelsk and Murmansk. The Soviet Union extended the northern sea route past the Tamir Peninsula to the Bering Strait in 1935. The Winter War opened the northern flank of the Eastern Front of World War II. Arctic naval presence was initially dominated by the Soviet Northern Fleet of a few destroyers with larger numbers of submarines, minesweepers, and torpedo cutters supported by icebreakers. The success of the German invasion of Norway provided the Kriegsmarine with naval bases from which capital ships might challenge units of the Royal Navy Home Fleet. Luftwaffe anti-shipping aircraft of Kampfgeschwader 26 and Kampfgeschwader 30 operated intermittently from Norwegian airfields, while routine reconnaissance was undertaken by Kustenfliegergruppen aircraft including Heinkel He-115s and Blohm and Voss BV-138s. To support the Soviet Union against the German invasion, the Allies initiated a series of PQ and JW convoys bringing military supplies to the Soviet Union in formations of freighters screened by destroyers, corvettes and minesweepers. Escorting cruisers typically maneuvered outside the formation, while a larger covering force including battleships and aircraft carriers often steamed nearby to engage Kriegsmarine capital ships or raid their Norwegian bases. The Soviet Union and Germany employed smaller coastal convoys to maintain the flow of supplies to the Soviet Arctic coast, transport strategic metal ores to Germany, and sustain troops on both sides of the northern flank of the Eastern Front. Soviet convoys hugged the coast to avoid ice while German convoys used fjords to evade Royal Navy patrols. Both sides devoted continuing efforts to minelaying and minesweeping of these shallow, confined routes vulnerable to mine warfare and submarine ambushes. German convoys were typically screened by minesweepers and submarine chasers while Soviet convoys were often protected by minesweeping trawlers and torpedo cutters. A branch of the Pacific route began carrying lend-lease goods through the Bering Strait to the Soviet Arctic coast in June 1942. The number of westbound cargo ship voyages along this route was 23 in 1942, 32 in 1943, 34 in 1944 and 31 after Germany surrendered in 1945. Total westbound tonnage through the Bering Strait was 452,393 in comparison to 3,964,231 tons of North American wartime goods sent across the Atlantic to Soviet Arctic ports. Topic: <laughs> Time of the Battle of the Atlantic 1942 to 1945. A large portion of the Arctic route tonnage was fuel for Siberian airfields on the Alaska-Siberia air route. Topic: 1939 Early Conflict and Winter War. The 6th of September 1939, Bremen was the first of 18 German merchant ships to take refuge in Murmansk after avoiding British naval patrols in the Atlantic. The 30th of November 1939, the Winter War offensive against Petsamo was supported by Soviet Northern Fleet destroyers Kuibyshev, Karl Liebknecht, and Grozny. Topic: 1940 invasion of Norway. April 1940, Operation Wezerabung included an invasion of Narvik by troops embarked aboard 10 Kriegsmarine destroyers. Covering battleships Scharnhorst and Nisenau briefly engaged HMS Renown, and subsequent battles of Narvik involved Norwegian coastal defence ships Eidsvold and Norge, U-boats, and units of the Royal Navy. 
the 4th of May 1940, the Polish destroyer Grom was sunk off Narvik by a KG-100 bomber. The 21st of May 1940, HMS Effingham was scuttled after grounding on a shallow pinnacle off Narvik. The 4th of June 1940, Operation Alphabet troopships Monarch of Bermuda, Batory, Sobieski, Franconia, Lancastria, Georgic, Oranzi, Ormond, Arundora Star, Royal Ulsterman, Ulster Prince, Ulster Monarch and Duchess of York began evacuation of 24,600 Allied soldiers from Narvik. 8 June 1940, with some of the longest-range naval gunnery hits ever documented, Scharnhorst and Neisenau sank the British aircraft carrier HMS Glorious and her escorting destroyers HMS Acasta and Ardent during Operation Juno. 9 July 1940, Raider Comey sailed north from Bergen and waited near Novaya Zemlya until 13 August 1940 for ice conditions to allow passage through the Matochkin Strait into the Kara Sea. Comey proceeded east with the assistance of three Soviet icebreakers to enter the Pacific Ocean through the Bering Strait on 5 September 1940. Soviet submarine SHCH-423 made a similar trip from Murmansk to Vladivostok from 5 August to 17 October. 25 July 1940, Admiral Hipper sailed for a two-week Arctic patrol. 15 August 1940, Army Transport USAT American Legion departed Petsamo for New York City carrying American nationals from Finland, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Sweden, Denmark, Norway, Germany and the Netherlands. American Legion also carried Princess Martha of Sweden with her children, and a Bofors 40mm gun manufactured in Sweden which became the prototype for American manufacture of the primary United States Navy anti-aircraft gun of World War II. 25 August 1940, HMS Norfolk and HMAS Australia sailed for a five-day patrol to Bear Island. 16 October 1940, HMS Furious launched an airstrike against the Trumsa seaplane base. 4 March 1941, HMS Edinburgh and Nigeria covered the Operation Claymore raid on Lofoten. The 11th of April 1941, H. Noms Mansfield destroyed the Oxford fish oil factory. 7 May 1941, destroyers HMS Somali, Bedouin, Eskimo and HMAS Nestor captured code documents aboard the German weather ship München near January Mayen while covered by cruises HMS Edinburgh, Manchester and Birmingham. HMS Nigeria made a similar capture of the weather ship Lauenberg on 28 June. Topic: 1941 invasion of the Soviet Union. The 25th of June 1941, the Soviet troopship Mosovit brought reinforcements to Titovka, and Soviet destroyers Kuibyshev and Uritsky landed additional reinforcements on the 30th of June. The 1st of July 1941, U-451 and U-652 are the first U-boats stationed in the Arctic. The 12th of July 1941, Kriegsmarine destroyers Richard Beitzen, Hermann Sherman, Hans Lodi, Friedrich Eckold, and Karl Gulster attacked a small Soviet convoy near Cape Terebersky. The 14th of July 1941, Soviet destroyers Gromki, Gremyashchi, Stremetlany and Kuibyshev delayed a German infantry advance near Zapanaya Litsa River. The 20th of July 1941, the Soviet destroyer Stremetlany was sunk in Kola Bay by a LG-1 Junkers Ju-87. The 23rd of July 1941, Kriegsmarine destroyers Richard Beitzen, Hermann Sherman, Friedrich Eckold and Karl Gulster sank the Soviet survey ship Meridian near Terraburka. The 30th of July 1941, HMS Furious and Victorious launched airstrikes on Pet Samo and Kirkins. 
Victorious launched an airstrike on Trumsa on 31 July. These airstrikes turned back a patrol of Kriegsmarine destroyers. The 31st of July 1941, HMS Nigeria, Aurora, Punjabi and Tata destroyed a weather station on Bear Island. August 1941, British submarines HMS Tigris and Trident were transferred to Murmansk. 10 August 1941, Kriegsmarine destroyers Z-4 Richard Beitzen, Z-10 Hans Lodi, and Z-16 Friedrich Eckhold sank the Soviet patrol ship Tumen near Kola Bay. U-451 sank Soviet patrol vessel Jumchug in the White Sea entrance. 19 August 1941, troopship Empress of Canada sailed from Scapa Flow with HMS Aurora, Nigeria, Icarus, Antelope and Antony to evacuate Soviet and Norwegian residents following destruction of Spitsbergen coal mines by Operation Gauntlet. The warships encountered a German troop convoy off Porsingerfjorden and sank the escort Bremser on 6 September. 26 August 1941, U-571 sank 3,870 ton Maria Ulyanova. 31 August 1941, the Dervish convoy arrived in Archangelsh initiating transport of Allied war materials around Norway to the Soviet Union. The convoy was escorted by HMS Devonshire, Suffolk and Victorious, which launched airstrikes against Trumsa. 12 September 1941, Soviet submarine SHCH-422 sank 1459 ton Otar Jal off Tanafjord. 27 September 1941, Max Aitken, Lord Beaverbrook and W. Averell Harriman arrived in Archangelsh aboard HMS London. 7 October 1941, HMS Victorious launched an airstrike against Vestfjorden. Topic: 1942 PQ convoys. The 11th of October 1941, convoy PQ1 escorted by HMS Suffolk arrived in Archangelsh. The 17th of October 1941, Soviet submarine SHCH-402 sank the 682-ton Vesteralen in Saroy Sundit. 18 18th of October 1941, U-132 sank the 3,487 ton Argon at the entrance to the White Sea. The 30th of October 1941, convoy PQ-2 arrived in Archangelsh. Return convoy QP-2 departed on the 2nd of November. The 24th of November 1941, HMS Kenya, Bedouin, Intrepid, and Soviet destroyers Gromki and Gremyashchi Shell Vado. The 28th of November 1941, convoy PQ3 and convoy PQ4 arrived in Archangelsh. Return convoy QP3 departed on the 27th of November. 3 3rd of December 1941, Soviet submarine K3 was forced to surface after damages caused by German sub dot chasers UJ1403, UJ1416 and UJ1708. Submarine engaged the Germans in gunfire battle and UJ1708 was sunk while the others retreated. The 7th of December 1941, Antony Eden arrived in Murmansk aboard HMS Kent. The 12th of December 1941, convoy PQ5 arrived in Archangelsh. The 21st of December 1941, Soviet submarine M174 sank the 4301 ton Emshorn off the Varangafjord. 23 23rd December 1941, convoy PQ-6 arrived in Murmansk. The 25th of December 1941, U-134, U-454, and U-584 formed Gruppe Ulan patrolling south of Bear Island for PQ convoys until the 14th of March 1942. 
The 26th of December 1941, HMS Arethusa covered the Operation Anklet raid on Lofoten. The 11th of January 1942, convoy PQ-7 arrived in Murmansk after U-134 sank 5,135 ton Waziristan. The 14th of January 1942, Soviet submarine S-102 sank 1877-ton Turkheim off Seitelfjord. The 17th of January 1942, U-454 damaged 5,395-ton Harmatris and sank HMS Matabele from convoy PQ-8 as the convoy reached Kola Bay. The German battleship Tirpitz was based at Trondheim, where its presence required the home fleet to retain at least one modern battleship which might have otherwise been used in the Mediterranean or Pacific. 5 February 1942, Soviet submarine SHCH-421 sank 2,975-ton Konschel Schulte off Porsingerfjorden. 10 10th of February 1942 combined convoys PQ9 and 10 arrived in Murmansk escorted by HMS Nigeria Faulkner and Intrepid The escort departed with return convoy QP7 on the 12th of February The 15th of February 1942 Soviet submarine S101 sank 1147-ton Mamona off Tanafjord the 23rd of February 1942, convoy PQ-11 arrived in Murmansk. Admiral Scheer joined Tirpitz in Trondheim. The 5th of March 1942, a Fock Wolf FW200 located convoy PQ-12 south of January Mayen. Tirpitz sailed on the 6th of March with destroyers Hermann Sherman, Friedrich IHN, and Z25. The convoy covering force of HMS Duke of York, Renown, Kenya, Faulkner, Eskimo, Punjabi, Fury, Echo and Eclipse failed to locate Tirpitz, and IHN sank the 2,815-ton Ajora straggling from convoy QP-8. An unsuccessful airstrike from HMS Victorious on 9 March caused Tirpitz to seek refuge in Narvik. The 24th of March 1942, convoy QP9 escort HMS Sharpshooter sank U655. The 27th of March 1942, a BV138 located storm scattered convoy PQ13 escorted by HMS Trinidad, Eclipse and Fury. KG-30 Junkers Ju-88 sank 4,815-ton Raceland and 7,007-ton Empire Ranger as Kriegsmarine destroyers Z-24, Z-25 and Z-26 sailed. Z-26 sank 4,687-ton Bateau before being sunk by Trinidad. Trinidad and Eclipse were damaged in the engagement. U-376 sank 5,086-ton in Juna, and U-435 sank 6,421-ton Effingham. The 1st of April 1942, Soviet submarine SHCH-404 sank 2,318-ton Mykolov Tanafjord. The 10th of April 1942, convoy QP-10 departed Kola Bay escorted by HMS Liverpool, Oribe, Punjabi, Maan, Fury and Eclipse. KG-30 Ju-88 sank 7,164-ton Empire Cooper and 5,486-ton Harpalion. U-435 sank 6,008-ton Occidente and 5,823-ton Kiev. The 19th of April 1942, convoy PQ-14 arrived in Murmansk after U-403 sank 6,985-ton Empire Howard. The 24th of April 1942, Soviet submarine SHCH-401 was lost after sinking 1359-ton Stensas. 
The 28th of April 1942, convoy QP11 departed Murmansk escorted by HMS Edinburgh, Foresight, Forrester, Bulldog, Amazon, Beagle and Beverly. U-456 torpedoed Edinburgh. Kriegsmarine destroyers Hermann Sherman, Z-24 and Z-25 sank 2,847-ton Cholkovsky and damaged Amazon. Sherman was sunk by Edinburgh while the German destroyers crippled Edinburgh and damaged Forrester and Foresight. The 29th of April 1942, Soviet submarine M171 sank 4,969-ton Curitiba off Varangafjord. The 5th of May 1942, convoy PQ-15 arrived in Murmansk after KG-26 Heinkel He-111 sank 5,848-ton Batavan and 3,807-ton Cape Corso and damaged 6,153-ton Jutland which was then sunk by U-251. St. Albans of the convoy escort accidentally sank supporting Polish submarine ORP Jastzab. In the covering force, King George V collided with Punjabi, and exploding depth charges on the sinking destroyer damaged the battleship. 10 May 1942, Scheer moved from Trondheim to Narvik. 14 May 1942, a KG-30 Ju-88 dive bomber sank HMS Trinidad. 15 May 1942, the 11th U-boat flotilla was established and based at Bergen for Arctic Ocean patrols. Sturzkampfgeschwader 5 STG-5 Ju-87s attacked Murmansk, damaging 6,187-ton Yakka and Soviet submarine SHCH-403. The 25th of May 1942, Lutzow joined Admiral Scheer in Narvik. KG-26 and KG-30 damaged 5,127-ton Carlton from convoy PQ-16, and U-703 sank 6,191-ton Cirrus. Continuing aircraft attacks sank Alamo, Mormaxel, Empire Lawrence, Empire Purcell, Lowther Castle, and City of Joliet and damaged Starry Bolshevik, Ocean Voice, Empire Baffin, and HMS Garland before the convoy reached Murmansk on 31 May. 1 June 1942, STG-5 Ju-87 sank 7,850-ton Empire Starlight and damaged Soviet submarine SHCH-404 in Murmansk. 24 June 1942, a STG-5 Ju-87 sank HMS Gossima in Kola Bay. 4 July 1942, a He-115 sank Liberty ship Christopher Newport from convoy PQ-17, and KG-26 He-111 sank 4,841-ton Navarino and damaged Liberty ship William Hooper and 6,114-ton Azerbaijan. Twenty-two more ships were sunk by aircraft and U-boats after the convoy scattered on 5 July to avoid attacks by German surface ships. 30 July 1942, Soviet Pacific Fleet destroyers Razumny, Razierioni and Baku entered the Bering Strait and travelled west to reach the Soviet Northern Fleet on 14 October. 1 August 1942, U-601 sank 2,513-ton Crestionine off the Koston Strait. 16 August 1942, Scheer left Narvik for the Operation Wonderland two-week patrol of the Kara Sea. 25 August 1942, HMS Marne, HMS Martin and HMS Onslaught sank the German minelayer Ulm east of Bear Island. 12 September 1942, Convoy PQ-18 Escort HMS Faulkner sank U-88 near Bear Island. 
U-405 and U-589 sank Liberty ship Oliver Ellsworth and 3,559-ton Stalingrad on 13 September, while KG-26 and KG-30 bombers sank 5,432-ton Wacosta, 4,826-ton Oregonian, 6,131-ton Macbeth, 5,441-ton Africanda, 6,209 ton Empire Stevenson, 7,044 ton Empire Beaumont, and 3,124 ton Sukona. U-457 sank 8,992-ton Athel Templar on 14 September, and HMS Onslow sank U-589. HMS Impulsive sank U-457 on 16 September. The 5,446-ton Kentucky was sunk and 6,458-ton Troubadour damaged before the convoy reached Murmansk. The 13th of September 1942, convoy QP-14 sailed from Archangelsk. On 20 September U-435 sank HMS Leader, U-255 sank 4,937-ton Silver Sword, and U-703 sank HMS Somali. U-435 sank 5,345-ton Bellingham, 7,174-ton Ocean Voice and 3,313-ton Grey Ranger on the 22nd of September. 29 October 1942, Operation FB attempted independent routing of Allied merchant ships. U-586 sank 6,640-ton Empire Gilbert on 2 November. KG-30 Ju-88 sank 7,363-ton Decabrist and damaged Liberty ship William Clark and 5,445-ton Cholmley which were sunk by U-354 and U-625. U-625 also sank 7,455-ton Empire Sky, and Z-27 sank 7,925-ton Donbass on 7 November. 5 November 1942, VP-84 Consolidated PBY Catalina H sank U-408 north of Iceland. 17 November 1942, convoy QP-15 departed Kola Bay. A storm dispersed the convoy and sank escorting Soviet destroyer Sokrushatelny on the 22nd of November. U-625 sank 5,851-ton Galistan, and U-601 sank 3,974-ton Kuznets Lasov. Topic: 1943 JW convoys. The 31st of December 1942, Admiral Hipper, Lutzow, Richard Beitzen, Theodore Riedel, Friedrich Eckold, Z29, Z30, and Z31 attacked convoy JW51B in the Battle of the Barents Sea. The German ships damaged HMS Obdurate, Obedient and Onslow and sank HMS Ackitz and Bramble, before the covering force arrived to damage Hipper and sink Friedrich Eckold. 1 January 1943, Soviet submarine L-20 sank 5,472-ton Muansa off Kongsfjorden. U-354 sank 2,418-ton Krasny Partizan. 29 January 1943, Soviet submarines L-20 sank 7,007-ton Oath Martian off Cape Nordkin and M-171 sank 3,243-ton Alona Seamers off Kongsfjorden. U-255 sank the Soviet icebreaker Malijan and 1892-ton of Far. U-255 then sank 7,460-ton Greylock from convoy RA-52 on 3 February. 
The 12th of February 1943, Soviet submarine K3 sank 8116 ton Feckenheim. The 26th of February 1943, convoy JW53 arrived in Kola Bay with one ship damaged by KG30 Ju88. STG-5 Ju-87s damaged three more ships from the convoy on 27 and 28 February, air attacks on 6 and 13 March damaged another ship and sank 7,173-ton Ocean Freedom. 5 March 1943, U-255 sank Liberty ship Richard Bland and 4,978-ton executive from convoy RA-53. U-586 sank 6,076-ton Puerto Rican on 9 March. 12 March 1943, Tippetts, Scharnhorst and Lutzow assembled in Narvik causing cancellation of Allied convoys through the summer. 16 March 1943, Soviet submarine M122 sank 4,533-ton Johannesburger off Varangafjord. 29 March 1943, Soviet submarine S-55 sank 2,297-ton Ajax. Also S-101 is said to have sunk her. 7 April 1943, HMS Tuna sank U-644 near January Mayen. 29 April 1943, Soviet submarine S-55 sank 708 ton Sturt Sea off Nordkin. 17 May 1943, Soviet submarine S-56 sank tanker 1118 ton Eurostat off Kongsfjord. 3,676 ton Warthland was lightly damaged by dud hit from the same salvo. June 1943, the 13th U-boat flotilla was established at Trondheim to reduce U-boat losses to Allied bombers patrolling approaches to U-boat bases on the French Atlantic coast. 8 July 1943, HMS Duke of York, Anson, Malaya, and Furious of the Home Fleet with USS South Dakota, Alabama, Augusta and Tuscaloosa conducted exercises off Norway intended to divert attention from Operation Husky. 17 July 1943, Soviet submarine S-56 sank minesweeper M-346. July to September 1943, German U-boats operated in Kara Sea against Soviet shipping. U-255 operated near Novaya Zemlya as a refueling station for a BV-138. The BV-138 searched for Kara Sea convoys to be attacked by Lutzow and the wicking gruppie of U-302, U-354, and U-711. The U-boats torpedoed 3,771-ton Petrovsky and sank 2,900-ton Dixon, 7,169-tons Tbilisi, 2,480-tons Archangels and 4,169-tons Sergei Kirov in addition to three minesweepers and three other auxiliary vessels. However U-639 was lost after being intercepted and torpedoed by Soviet submarine S-101. 8 September 1943, Scharnhorst, Tirpitz and ten destroyers bombarded Spitsbergen as Operation Zitronella. 23 September 1943, Tirpitz was immobilized in Kafjord by Operation Source. 4 October 1943, USS Ranger launched an airstrike on Bodo as Operation Leader. 12 October 1943, Soviet submarine S-55 sank 5,381 ton Ameland off Porsingafjord. 26 December 1943, Scharnhorst was sunk during the Battle of the North Cape while attempting to engage convoys JW-55B and RA-55A. 
the 26th of January 1944, a Segram Gruppe U-boats damaged HMS Obdurate and sank Liberty ships Penelope Barker, Andrew G. Curtin, and Fort Bellingham from convoy JW 56A near Bear Island. On 30 January U-278 sank HMS Hardy with a G-7S torpedo, and the convoy escort sank U-314. 28 January 1944, Soviet submarine S-56 sank 5,056-ton Henrietta Schulte. 24 February 1944, HMS Furious of the convoy JW-57 covering force conducted Operation Bayleaf airstrikes against the Norwegian coast. Convoy escort HMS Keppel sank U-713. U-956 sank HMS Maratta with a G-7S torpedo on 25 February. 2 March 1944, HMS Scepter sank an 8,340-ton merchant ship in Folder Fjord. 4 March 1944, U-703 sank 7,062-ton Empire Tourist from Convoy Ra 57. No. 816 Naval Air Squadron Ferry Swordfish from escorting HMS Chaser sank U-472, U-366 and U-973. 28 March 1944, HMS Schurters was sunk by a mine off Bodo. 2 April 1944, HMS Keppel sank U-360, and other convoy JW-58 escorts sank U-288. 3 April 1944, British carrier aircraft damaged Tirpitz during Operation Tungsten. 30 April 1944, U-711 sank Liberty ship William S. Thayer from convoy Ra-59. Convoy escorts sank U-277, U-959 and U-674. The convoy covering force launched an airstrike sinking three ships from a German convoy near Bodo. 26 May 1944, Soviet aircraft sank 3,402-ton Solvikan and damaged 3,672-ton Hertha Engelein Fritzen near Kirkings. The 31st of May 1944, HMS Milne sank U-289 southwest of Bear Island. Topic. 1944 and 1945 last operations The 17th of June 1944, Soviet aircraft sank 1,610-ton Dixie and damaged 1,112-ton Marga cords and 7,419-ton Florianopolis from a convoy near Hammerfest. 17 July 1944, unsuccessful British carrier attack on Tirpitz during Operation Mascot. 31 July 1944, Tirpitz completed battle damage repair at Altafjord. 17 August 1944, Soviet aircraft sank two merchant ships near Kirkings. 19 August 1944, Soviet torpedo cutters sank 3,946-ton Kolmar from a German convoy near Pusfjord. 21 August 1944, U-344 sank convoy JW-59 escort HMS Kite, and was sunk by swordfish of the covering force aircraft carrier HMS Victorious. 22–29 August, British carrier aircraft repeatedly attacked Tippets during Operation Goodwood, but inflict only light damage. U-354 sank HMS Bickerton and damaged HMS Nabob from the British fleet before being sunk by escorts on 24 August. 
August–September 1944, German U-boats operations in Kara Sea against Soviet shipping resulted in the loss of three former American minesweepers of the Admirable class transferred to the Soviets under Lend-Lease, T-118, T-114 and T-120 in addition to the Soviet corvette Brilliant. However only one merchant was lost, 7,540 tons Marina Raskova 7,540 GRT, in addition to a survey vessel. Germans lost U-362 after depth charges by Soviet minesweeper T-116 another admirable class vessel transferred from United States. 1 September 1944, the German weather ship Keddingen scuttled off Greenland when found by USCGC Northland. 2 September 1944, Convoy RA 59 escorts sank U-394. 16 September 1944, Soviet aircraft sank 3,668-ton Walsam at Kirkings. Another attack damaged 5,434-ton Friesenland off North Cape on 20 September. 29 September 1944, U-310 sank 7,219-ton Samsover and Liberty ship Edward H. Crockett from Convoy RA-60. No. 813 Naval Air Squadron Swordfish F of HMS Campania sank U-921 on 30 September. The 11th of October 1944, Soviet torpedo cutters sank German minesweeper M-303 off Kaburg. The 12th of October 1944, Soviet submarine S-104 sank 1730-ton Lume east of Tanafjord. 16 16th of October 1944 United States Coast Guard icebreaker Eastwind captured the German weather ship Externstein off Greenland The 21st of October 1944 Soviet torpedo cutters sank German minesweeper M31 off Honningsvag The 26th of October 1944 Soviet naval infantry captured Kirkines with the support of Soviet Northern Fleet destroyers and smaller warships. The 2nd of November 1944 U-295 damaged convoy RA-61 escort HMS Mounsey with a G-7 Shea torpedo. HMS Ventura sank U-771 off Lofoten on the 11th of November. 12 November 1944, Tirpitz was capsized by Royal Air Force Avro Lancasters. 2 December 1944, U-363 sank 1123-ton 11 proletary off Finland. 9 December 1944, Convoy RA-62 escorts sank U-387 at the mouth of Kola Bay. U-365 torpedoed HMS Cassandra on the 11th of December before being sunk by No. 813 Naval Air Squadron Swordfish from HMS Campania on the 13th of December. The 30th of December 1944, U-956 torpedoed 7,176 ton Tbilisi off Kola Bay. December 1944, the 14th U-boat flotilla was established at Narvik to absorb displaced U-boats as bases on the French coast were captured by Allied troops. The 16th of January 1945, U-997 sank Dejartelny with a G-7 Shea torpedo at the mouth of Kola Bay. 13 February 1945, KG-26 Ju-88 and 188 torpedo bombers withdrawn from France following the Normandy landings made unsuccessful attacks against convoy JW-64. U-992 sank convoy escort HMS Denby Castle at the mouth of Kola Bay. 14 February 1945, U-boats sank 8,129-ton Northgill and Liberty ship Horace Gray from convoy BK-3 outside Kola Bay. 
the 17th of February 1945, escorts clearing Kola Bay for the departure of convoy Ra 64 sank U-425. U-711 sank HMS Bluebell and U-968 damaged Liberty ship Thomas Scott and HMS Lark with G-7 Shea torpedoes. On 23 February KG-26 sank Liberty ship Henry Bacon, the last ship to be sunk by German aircraft in the Second World War. 20 20th of March 1945, U-968 torpedoed Liberty ships Horace Bushnell and Thomas Donaldson from convoy JW-65 and convoy escort HMS Lapwing with a G-7 Shea torpedo. The 22nd of April 1945, U-997 sank 1603-ton Inaga and torpedoed 4,287-ton Idefjord from convoy PK-9. The 29th of April 1945, in the last trade convoy battle of the Second World War, U-286 sank HMS Goodall at the mouth of Kola Bay as convoy JW-66 escorts sank U-307 and U-286. <laughs> Notes <laughs>